so scary. That was so scary. <laughs> I'm just taking my this. I saw there were like waves going in from the weir. Yeah, we tried to fly the drone. It completely malfunctioned, flipped out. No more drone. That was it. That was the last lie. Hey, how we got here? My slippers had babies. Oh, hello, lovely. Welcome to the vlog, Susie and gorgeous George. Today on board Alba, we have two friends with us, two beautiful poodles. They are both toe poodles. Gorgeous George, who is, I think, 13, and Susie, who is... Sassy Susie. Um, about just over one years old, I think. So we have them for two days and we are dog sitting while the parents are away in London. Last night was the first night, having them over. Everything is good so far. We went for a walk with them. We went for a walk with them. We fed them for the first time. So doing things all up on our own. They didn't the eat their tablets time. though, did they? We don't trust Big Pharma, do we? George is old and George is almost blind and almost deaf so he doesn't really know what's going on but he is the cutest. Come here George, show us your lovely face, holy oh, sweet. Two crew and toy poodles. Poodles of poodles. Two girlfriends and five dogs. How much dog experience you've got? Loads. The water levels are now back to normal and they've probably been back to normal for what we say about a week and we've got itchy tiller normally we're on the canal so we move every two weeks um we've actually been in henley since what the mid to late october um, love it it's been great we'll probably be back we'll definitely be back yeah we think we might go up to pangbourne the conditions look pretty good here so yeah, we're gonna go to Ship Lake, fill up with water. We've been filling up with water, as you've probably seen, with the black with the black tank that we got. And we've been driving to get you know fuel, picking di diesel up in the car and coal in the car. So actually, we might be able to have a stop take, fill the tank up with diesel, fill it up with water, not the same one. And yeah, go for cruise. We could even go to Tesco. We were gonna do all of that with, with our new crew. With our new crew who are. Literally sleeping. They're having a pre pre cruise nap. The dogs are very well behaved, uh, very timid, quiet, no barking. Um, so far, no zoomies or anything. So very aware of the fire. Know what's going on. First time dog sitting of and first time dog sitting with two dogs and so far it's been absolutely amazing. Alright, so the flood is gone. And the poles need to come out. Yeah. They're quite hard to get out because we did such a good job putting them in. I managed to get one out. I had to wiggle it like from side to side as far as I could get it and wrap uh, the centre line around it and then pull it up with the centre line because it's it's quite hard to hold and pull on its own and splintery and stuff but I've only managed to get one out so I'm gonna have some Weetabix make me strong and get the other one out I'm going to try and get ready but I feel it's pretty much impossible because the poodles are here and I just want cuddles and um, there is no time to be getting changed or doing anything so I don't know how the cruise is gonna go but yeah we'll, we'll try our best to film it yeah yeah Susie Cruzy, Susie Cruzy, gonna be a narrowboat dog for a couple of days. Yep. Yeah. 
I've been very busy lately with work, study, learning to drive. I've got my test in like five weeks and then obviously trying to make videos in between and edit them and I've had a massive computer issue so it's been full on. This has been a lifesaver lately. Y food is a smart food. It's not a protein drink. It's a healthy drink that has proteins, fibers and 26 vitamins and minerals. It comes in a drinkable form. They also have them in powders and bars. I think the coconut one is my favorite. They all taste so good. All Y food drinks are lactose free and they've got no added sugars. Their packaging is carbon neutral. Um, it's 100% recyclable and they use 30 to 50 percent recycled plastic in it. Why food is a smart food because of all of the lovely contents. It keeps me full for three to five hours. It's a lifesaver. I love it on the go. I love it instead of a meal. There are many ways to have it. I've been having it for the last couple of months. Um, I've taken it somewhere. It's especially good when traveling but also as a meal replacement on one of my busy days. Personally when I'm on the go and the choice is between having a soggy sandwich or something like this. Why food is a a healthy drinkable meal. It's a complete meal and tastes amazing. I will always go for this. If you would like to try Y food, click the link in the description and use my code for 10% off. Thanks guys. Susie, I know you went out to go out, but we're gonna go into a lock in a minute. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit and then we can get you out after the lock. I guess we're gonna have to get them out one by one. Sad to leave her inside and George, but we can't really do much while we're sitting off. And also we don't really know um, how it's all gonna work out, so we just wanna be extra safe. We've not moved for a month and a half since that time when we tried to get to Ship Lake and get water and the river froze. Really excited to finally be on the move again. Do we even remember what to do? You, you got the poles out. I yeah, I did manage to get the poles out. Just. Well done. I thought we were going to need them. Nah. We might need them again. Oh, yeah. I have you. And you have me. That puts a bow up in the sky. So the lock keeper said that the Kavisham lock is shut for repairs. We did check it uh, before setting off and it said on the website 25th of February so not quite sure where we looked and stuff. He tried to call the Lockheed Back cover show for us but no one answered so we don't know if we're going to get through and the lock is supposed to be shut until the 31st of March uh, but apparently on the weekends sometimes they let you through so we don't know what's gonna happen. Five locks to do. I think we've got five locks. We've done one, we've got four left to do. We've had up, and we've had down. We've had warm nights, we've gone round and round. What I While Mouse was filling up the water, I took the puddles for a walk. Since we've got access to nature on our doorstep, we want to take them out every few hours. I have them on the tight leash because there is river on both sides of us and George can't see and Susie might not listen to me so especially I've got two of them being a bit strict but that's all right getting used to each other aren't we? better though than doing the tank. Did you enjoy the walk? Oh yeah. Yeah you loved it. Yeah you loved it. Yeah. Since we're on the water point I had a quick shower, walked the dogs and we are gonna have a brunch at home and set off. And Ma said the water pressure isn't very good here so it, it probably will take us about an hour to fill up the tank.
approaching Signing Bridge we've been warned by the lock keeper that it might be tricky with some undercurrent um, swirling around um, so we're going to be um, very careful and fingers crossed it's going to go well because we really need to get through in order to get diesel and then follow through all the way to Pagabon. The river might look bare and unimpressive at the moment but it didn't matter. We're both so happy to be out on a boat and looking forward to getting all of our supplies so we don't have to carry canisters around and just enjoy this adventure. The lock keepers that we've seen told us that we are the first boat that they've seen this year. Number one! First boat of the year? Yeah. yeah. Crazy oh, enough to do it. Couldn't wait, we needed to go for a cruise, we were itching. So there are a few people um, walking by on the tow path and they've been walking from, we've not just them, and near yes, the ship lake. We keep looking and wondering if we're going to overtake them um, but I think we're losing so we're actually moving quite slow, slower than a walking pace. It's such a slow moving that we don't even know if we're going to make it until dark. We were meant to leave at 11 and we left at 9.30 instead and we're still, after filling up uh, with water, questioning if we're going to get further than Reading today. Little did we know, this was not the only challenge we had on our journey. Trying to moor up at Soning Lock was almost impossible. That was really <laughs> adventurous, really scary to be honest. Very exciting. When we came out to that lock landing, I saw there were like waves going in from the weir. And then I thought, well, hopefully there's like something to stop them. But when we got to it, nah, it was... And did you not tell me about the waves? I thought that they're magically going to go away and we don't need to talk about it. <laughs> I just didn't want to confront the situation. You just didn't want to confront the situation? No. I had seen them. Yeah, and you also didn't mention anything about them. I didn't the need to mention them to you. I'm, I'm concentrating on them. Yeah. We were like at a right angle coming in there. We did it perfectly then. Yeah, and then getting off it, trying to get in the lock was even more challenging. I ended up having to pull the boat manually, then push the front and pull a bit in, push the front and kind of like wiggle the nose, wiggle the bow into the lock and then we've been able to actually go in. <laughs> well, the good news is the lock keeper said that the Carvishman lock is open, great and he said there shouldn't really be any more super tricky bits uh, on our journey, so I think we, I think we're fine. Halfway there. Yeah. Nearly. We just need to make sure that the sun doesn't set before we get there. It to will. Too <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We'll make sure. So I'm going to bring one dog out, see how we do. Uh, so we're going to bring George out, who is older, and keep him on 
a leash and see how we can manage. He's very timid, so if we can manage George, then we'll get, have have a go with Susie. All right, we have George here. Let's give it a try. Oh, Susie's really sad. The Poodles behaved very well. They didn't try to jump out and seemed to enjoy a bit of wind in their faces. We passed the hydrofoil surfer on the way. It's really good to see someone else enjoying the river today. I still can't wrap my mind around how this thing works and would like to try it one day. We're about to pass the entrance to the Kenna and Evan Canal and theoretically after we pass it the stream should even decrease even more. The river conditions should be uh, like normal. At the moment we're still on yellow, yellow boards. boating and they are closed so we didn't get any gas or diesel however on the plus side we managed to get through Kavish block and that means that we actually can get to Pangborn and on the minor side yeah we tried to fly the drone it completely malfunctioned flipped out dunk itself into the water then recovered we tried to land it on top of Alba and it just sunk so it is in the river and there is no way of us getting it and it's probably all water damaged so no more drone that was it that was the last life
I ended up standing on the roof, holding the torch and moving it from side to side to see what's ahead. We have arrived. You're lovely. Well done. You behaved so well. It's a bit muddy here, so I got out my wax boots. We are going to do a classic dog thing. We're going to go to a pub. We're going to go to a dog friendly pub and have dinner there with our poodles. Well, we can because tomorrow they're going back home. Mwah. Gonna miss you. Gonna miss you. Good morning, my loves. Good morning. How are we doing, sweeties? How are we? Oh, yeah, sweeties. Sweet baby George. The Pangborn sky greeted us with an amazing sunset the next day. This was our first cruise of the year. The change was exactly what we needed. We look forward to more. It's been a great opening of the season, minus the drone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks to Y-Food for sponsoring this episode. Big thanks to all of you and especially to our patrons. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.